Welcome everyone to another episode of Ever Wonder TV, the place where all your wondering thoughts get answered. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel and remember to hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. In today's video, we're going to take a look at interesting secrets of Walt Disney World. Are you ready? Let's get started. The castle isn't as grand as you think. Quite possibly the most disillusioning Walt Disney World realities is how little there truly is to Cinderella's castle. From an external perspective, its plushness is undoubtedly. Within, however, it simply includes an eatery, Cinderella's table, and the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, just as profoundly desired lodging that is almost difficult to hold. The lodging was initially intended to be Walt Disney's condo. Flying Tinkerbell is more than just magic. Watching Tink fly around Cinderella's castle is a notorious piece of any Disney World experience. Be that as it may, it's considerably more complex than you may understand. First of all, Tink needs a ton of force to make that flight. If not, she needs to pull herself hand over hand to contact her last objective. Additionally, she must be Tinkerbell small, which is close to 95 pounds, as her outfit and battery pack gauges as much as 35 pounds. The Abandoned Water Park River Country was Disney World's first water park that worked from 1976 to 2001 until it shut for obscure reasons. Yet Disney never destroyed the water park, but the island in Bay Lake has been deserted from that point onward. In a photograph series called Dismaland, you can see plants and green moss gradually taking control over the rotting slides and attractions inside what used to be River Country. The Secret Suite Inside Cinderella's Castle This mysterious suite covered up inside Cinderella's Castle was initially worked for Walt Disney and his family despite the fact that he died well before Disney World opened. As of late, the suite was repurposed as facilities for special visitors. The rooms are decked out with a jacuzzi tub, 17th century furniture, a Cinderella mosaic floor made with 24 karat gold, and a clock that is unendingly frozen at 11.59. Sadly, you can't really book a stay there, however, Disney holds ordinary sweepstakes to win a night's visit in the suite. No straw for you At the Animal Kingdom, you'll need to suck down that coke without a straw. Furthermore, be mindful so as not to spill your drink since you're not getting a lid by the same token. Disney World doesn't offer either at this park as an insurance to the animals. The Scent of Disneyland have you at any point noticed that moist black powder fragrance at Pirates of the Caribbean? Or on the other hand, that Main Street consistently possesses a scent like newly baked items? There's a justification to that. In both Disneyland and later at Disney World, Imagineers use Smellitzer machines that sprays fragrances through secret vents in the Recreation Center. Previous Disney employee Jody Jean Dreher wrote in her Disney memoir that Imagineers comprehend that fragrance is a solid trigger for memory which assists us joining Disney World with childhood sentimentality just by getting a whiff of popcorn. Magical Design of the Magic Kingdom Despite the fact that Liberty Square and Fantasyland are directly nearby to one another, but because of some very well-positioned foliage and different interruptions, you will not have the option to see or hear one themed land in case you're standing in an alternate one. This gives the fantasy that you're truly investigating various universes rather than one associated amusement park. For example, in any event when you're flying high above Fantasyland on the Dumbo ride, it's difficult to get a brief look at the adjoining Tomorrowland only a couple feet away. The Kiss Goodnight At the point when the park is for the most part empty, Cinderella's castle illuminates once and for all of the evening while When You Wish Upon a Star plays behind the scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on behalf of everyone here at the Magic Kingdom, we thank you for joining us today for a magic gathering of family, friends, fun, and fantasy. We hope your magical journey with us has created wonderful memories that will last a lifetime. The equivalent Kiss Goodnight message is played consistently before the last visitors leave the Recreation Center. Secret Donald Inside the Haunted Mansion you have presumably spent numerous Disney getaways spotting covered up Mickeys all through Disney World, yet have you at any point seen a secret Donald? Donald Duck's outline can be found on a seat in the Haunted Mansion's Rides Library or in the interminable passage scene. 
Hint, the seat once in a while changes position. Bathroomless Liberty Square since this Magic Kingdom land is set in the pioneer time, there are no restrooms, very much like the genuine 18th century America. All things being equal, you'll need to stroll to the close-by Fantasyland way to use the bathroom. Disney's Imagineers took genuineness to another level in Liberty Square. Despite the fact that both of Liberty Square's eateries, Liberty Tree Tavern and Columbia Harbor House, have contemporary bathrooms, they are actually set far back enough that they are not, at this point, in Liberty Square. The Secret Way to a Perfect Score Need to ensure the most noteworthy score on Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger spin? Watch out for the red robot and hook in the first room. These unexpected targets are worth 100,000 points each and you can continue to shoot them to keep your score high. In case you're ready to follow this cheat control precisely, you'll hit the most extreme score, 999,999, preceding the ride is mostly finished. The Forbidden Finger there are numerous guidelines that Disney amusement parks cast individuals need to follow, however two of the most significant in visitor relations are that you ought to never point with one finger or answer a visitor question with, I don't have a clue. Pointing with your pointer is viewed as impolite in certain societies, so Disneyland cast individuals point with two fingers, all things being equal. Some previous workers demand that this could likewise be a gesture to Walt Disney's smoking propensity. As a feature of the flawless Disney visitor experience, cast individuals are needed to think of a response to any question, regardless of whether they need to investigate an answer or ask a partner to try to not disappoint visitor encounters. The Abandoned Singing Airport Runway in the event that you make a correct turn under the monorail not long before entering Magic Kingdom, you'll run over a piece of asphalt that used to be Disney World's sole airport on park property. The runway was underlying 1970, not long before Disney World formally opened, and was uniquely being used for a little while by Shawnee Airlines until it was closed down. The zone is presently utilized as backstage stopping. Referred to by Disney fans as the singing runway, you can supposedly hear the runway sing when you wish upon a star on the off chance that you roll over it at roughly 45 miles per hour on account of some all around put grooves in the pavement. The Truth About Epcot Today, Epcot might be one of the four significant amusement parks in Disney World, yet it was initially expected to be a modern neighborhood where individuals could work, live, and play. At any rate, that is the way Walt Disney imagined it. Known as Project X, Walt's unique designs for Epcot incorporated a citywide monorail framework, a climate-controlled downtown area, and a local area open to the new and emerging technologies of the future, as Walt clarified. Albeit these aspiring designs for Epcot were deserted after Walt's passing, you can in any case track down a model of the first Epcot's progress city in Tomorrowland. The Secret Tunnels Supposedly, Walt Disney was strolling around Disneyland back in the beginning days of the park when he saw a cowboy from Frontierland strolling to his post through Tomorrowland. He believed that this irregularity upset the visitor experience and needed to fix that. The Utilidors under the Magic Kingdom in Disney World were purportedly the answer for Walt's perception. These underground passages length 392,040 square feet and are occupied with changing areas, staff cafeterias, prop stockpiling, and all the more behind the stage zones that the normal Disney visitor could never see. Thusly, the rancher from Frontierland can undoubtedly walk underground to try not to be seen by visitors in different grounds. Bring your own gum. To make the parks cleaner, both Disneyland and Disney World have prohibited the sale of gum in the parks. They will not prevent you from acquiring your own, however. The 30-step rule. Supposedly, Walt used to observe how long a visitor would clutch a piece of waste in their hands prior to dropping it on the ground. The normal check was 30 stages, so that is actually how far separated the garbage bins are set in all the Disney parks. These were some of the craziest and most interesting facts about Walt Disney World that we know for sure you had no clue about. Which ones did you love the most? Let us know in the comment box below. 
If you liked this video, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun and interesting videos in the future.